Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is our 27th video for Laravel blogging website. And in this video, we will do some front end settings. So we have a we have created this front end, and uh, now uh, we will manage the post from the user end. We have uh, created the section where user can add post. Now we will create the section where user can uh, delete the post or uh, uh, edit the post. So he can see the status of post that post is approved or not. We will also fetch the recent post according to the settings that how many posts we can uh, show here in the recent section in the popular section. So we will do these settings. Okay. So let's do this. So the first thing we will do, we will uh, create a section for the user where he can manage the post. So I will open the I'll open the front end layout. Close all tabs and uh, in the front end layout here we will I will add here manage manage posts. Okay. And here we will show manage posts. And correspondingly we will create the we will create routes. We will create routes. So where we have created the form here, we have created the form. Now we will create the route for manage post. Manage post. And now we need to create the method. We need we will create the method in the home controller. Manage post manage posts okay and now we will create the method here manage posts function post and here we will show the post data of this particular user of the logged in user posts post and I'll get the request here because we will get the data from the request method we will get the user data from the request method post where user ID where user ID is request user ID is request and we will pass this ID and we will pass the data here order by ID descending and we will get the data okay and here we will show manage manage posts posts and this is now let's create the now let's create the resource file the view file so create the view file we will create the view file from the so i will copy this save post form blade and i will manage posts and open this manage posts okay and now let's uh, now let's refresh this page so we have a manage post click on this manage post and we have a data but actually this is a php file we don't need the php file we need actually we need blade file so we will change this blade to a php Okay, let's refresh this page. So we don't need this category. We don't need this. We will empty the table. Okay, and we will change the title. And we don't need this. We don't need this form actually because we just want to show the data. So we don't need no, no, no on the form so recent post 
manage posts. Let's add the border here. And now we will create the TR and in TR we will create the okay. I'll copy the I'll copy the data from our back backend post index I'll copy the index data. I'll copy the uh, table. So copy table here. Let's refresh this undefined data. So we are not passing data here. So I will just change the data. Okay. So this is the data that uh, this particular user logged in user has been posted. Okay. And uh, now what we need to do, we need to add it or delete this data. So so we uh, we will not give the permissions to uh, delete or uh, delete or edit the data from the front end. <laughs> Uh, we will do this permission only for backend user. So what we will do, we will remove this column. Okay. If he want to delete the data, then he should contact the admin. Okay. And now what we will do, we will margin this. But one thing more we need to add, I will add. I will add the data table here. So in the layout, we will copy the data table. So this will be data table demo, and this will be data table data. Manage post, and here we will add script for data table. And we will add the bootstrap. So the bootstrap is working. And uh, we also add the, so add the data table demo. Let's see. So data table is showing now, but uh, something is missing. So what we will do? We will we need to add the this bundle. Okay, and uh, what we need to do, yeah, so we have a data table, uh, okay, fine, actually we also need the data table bootstrap, so we will add here data table, we don't need the bootstrap button. Okay, so we have added the data table and uh, we are showing the post that the user has been added. And now, what we will do here class in top bottom, yeah, margin bottom actually, margin bottom four. So uh, now we are showing that uh, user, uh, this data is uh, for this particular logged in user. Okay, now it's time to show the recent post according to the limit. So where we have def uh, defined the limit, if you open the admin panel, let's open the admin panel and uh, login and uh, we are showing the uh, we are defining the settings here the popular post and recent post limit okay, let's say 2 and 2 to submit this so now we have the limit uh, we have settled the limit 2 and uh, we are showing the layout we are showing the data we are showing this data from our uh, from our uh, booting process of uh, a view so what we will uh, what we will do we will open the service provider and app service provider so we are showing this recent post and popular post from the these limits so now we we will set this limit from the 
uh, we will get this limit from the setting section so here we will recent post limit equal to setting first and here I will pass this data first this is setting okay and the setting will be pass here told setting and what is the name of the data uh, let's say we need to check the php my admin so i'll open the php my admin and go to the blog settings so recent so this is a recent limit okay this is recent limit and uh, now this is popular limit okay so let's refresh this so here you can see the recent post is showing two recent posting showing a uh, popular posting showing three now let's check uh, change this uh, uh, number so we have changed the number I refresh this so here you can see we have a recent post 3 and popular post 2. So uh, these are the front end settings that are pending. So we have done this settings. If you if you if you are missing something then please comment in the comment section uh, because uh, now in the next uh, in the next videos I will I will start the new series and if you have any ideas for the new series then please uh, please comment your thought and i think i have completed this project if something is missing then i will uh, i will add the code and upload on the github so you can download the code from the github so this is the github link to github.com slash code artisan lab okay so here you can download from here you can download the source code okay so we have a categories add post manage post log out and all the things we have an admin panel for this uh, blogging website and uh, we have a pagination we have a detail page we have a, in the detail page we have comments so i think i have created, uh, created all the things but if you uh, if you think if uh, anything is missing then please comment in the comment section okay so thank you thank you so much for watching this video and uh, please subscribe this channel for regular updates please uh, like this video share this video thank you thank you so much